The tax shooter in BTD6 now has nine freaking paths. And this is what they all look like. Now, I know three of them look like zero, zero, zeros, but you can see up here these pictures. These are more than zero, zero, zeros. Now, obviously, there's only one map we could do that on, and that is four circles. We're going to be testing out every single one of these uh, nine paths. I almost said five. And, of course, we're doing it on four circles because I don't want it to be too easy. So let's go ahead and put this guy just straight in the center. We all know what the top path, the middle path, and the bottom does, so we're not going to be looking at those. But by the end of this video, we should be having up a five, 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 five. That's nine. Nine freaking tears all at the fifth path. We're gonna try it out. Just leave a like if you want, subscribing, you know, all the fun stuff. But watch until the end. That's the main thing. Now, in the fourth path, our first upgrade is tacos. What does this do? Empty taco shell breaks apart into more tacos on him, making it very strong with great pierce for 900 bucks. I don't mind it being very strong. You know, speaking of strong, the people that join the membership, you know, of my channel, they're pretty freaking strong too. So make sure you check out the comments. Should be the pinned comment. You can join up. It's like three dollars a month at least. You know, it's a pretty freaking cool thing you get access to uh to sorry i got distracted let me get tacos real quick and see how this does you get access to the raw footage you get access to videos a day early you get access to a lot of cool emojis and stuff this is really freaking cool this is like cluster bombs on the cannon but awesomer because it's tacos okay but that next upgrade is tomato and i don't know about all that man i don't like tomatoes in my tacos still cut okay what still cuts a tomato soda oh yeah that's a sort of quote damage is increased split shot is also stronger plus 10 damage to bfb it's a tomato apply the tomato effect to balloon what so i'm assuming this is gonna be like a glue type of thing i don't know it's gonna splatter all over the balloons and then i don't know slow them down or do damage to it something like that i completely forgot that we only have one life and uh you know the spikes in the back are actually kind of helpful but uh let's go ahead and get up tomato let's see what this does i don't really see a tomato effect happening i don't know i don't know if i was meant to see anything but what's the next one we got we got lettuce burger king foot lettuce burger king no description i'm lazy okay <laughs> that's not very helpful but uh maybe i want to get up a farm first you know let's just go ahead and uh because because we have nine pads right or i guess we have six pads to review because we already know what three of them does let's just go ahead and chuck down some insta monkeys over here get up a couple of these 402s and then get them to uh to valuable bananas and i mean ideally i want to get marketplace hopefully i don't die before then okay there we go so we got some 423s over here they're gonna be making us some good money in the meanwhile let's see what lettuce does does this do anything okay it looks like the first tacos are kind of loaded right they've got lettuce and tomato which you know doesn't really make for a good taco but it looks like it makes for a pretty good weapon i'm not sure if he can see camo though but let's take a look at the stats okay one damage one pierce 1.25 rate and 23 range but it splits into eight okay yeah it, it doesn't look like the stats are actually right on this one because it's such a funky tower like this is doing what the uh, the bomb blitz does where it does like the double recursive cluster but yeah he can't see camo so let's go ahead we'll get up a village over here with radar scanner on it come on thank you and we do have sixty thousand dollars already so let's just go Go ahead we're gonna go for full tacos it's raining tacos from out of the sky talk oh no it's gonna sing the song i can't play that on here all right i'm gonna get it just imagine it's the real song because you know you're not allowed to listen to this because i'm gonna get demonetized and i kind of like having my videos monetized it's raining tacos okay now he's fighting directionally if you see that like he's not hitting in the back he's hitting right where balloons are it doesn't look like it's much better it actually looks kind of worse i'm not gonna lie did it upgrade any of the damage no okay so that just kind of worsened and the next upgrade is taco taco o a taco let's make it and o all right my boy i got a little bit of english to teach you because that is impressive also i just saw the tomato sauce working i don't know if you want to rewind that but i just saw it like destroy leads when the tacos can shoot 360 tacos around it look at this look look the tomato effect is actually popping the leads it's like an alchemist effect i assume but what does this do ability munch munch eat one balloon including bad in seconds really so what it's gonna be like uh like the mega Megalodon used to. I don't know if it still swallows BADs or if they like nerfed it or something. But how about we just go ahead and get down a couple more factories before we do anything too crazy with the tacos? I'm hoping this is enough. We should be good after this, right? I've got freaking how many is this? Seven of these four two threes? Yeah, this should be enough to get up a quarter of a million dollars for taco. You know what's scary? Once I get this guy, there are still one, two, three, four, five more paths to go through that I've never even touched before. I mean, besides the intro, but that doesn't really count because i didn't look at any of them and we're not even on round 40 yet bro we're gonna get this tier 5 before
we're round 40 and I guess we're gonna see how good it does against the Moab. I don't know. Hopefully it beats a Moab. All right, let's just go ahead and freaking get it. We got the taco upgrade, the 0050000. Let's go ahead and do it. This guy, oh my goodness, he's lagging my PC. And now it's playing the song again. Okay. This guy is shooting a crap ton of tacos. Look at that, bro. It's like doing the recursive cluster thing. I don't know, four times maybe? It never upgrades the pierce or the damage, but it just upgrades how many tacos there are. And this is it against the Mo. Okay, well, there's the Moab. I didn't even get the time to say it. I kind of wonder how far this guy can go, though. Let's go ahead. We'll put up an MIB on him just to make things fair. And uh, I think he can beat round 41. So let's go ahead and put him on round 60 just to see. Can he beat a BFB all by himself? This is going to be the slowest BFB ever. All right. Right, let's go ahead and see oh my goodness he freaking crushed him okay we've also got an ability over here so we are going to uh, you know what? no we're not i was gonna put a tad bot up to him but i don't think we're gonna do that let's just skip to round 80 can we take on a zomg with the taco tower okay i keep forgetting to put it on fast mode so it's just gonna be slow forever all right okay wow okay two hits three hits bye bye all right you know what screw it round 100 or you know what we'll go round 90 first right we'll see how it does against the ddts and maybe speed things up a little bit i think he's gonna destroy them because of the way he just yeah wow gone okay what about round 98 i know round 98 isn't the most fun round it's very balloon dense but this guy doesn't care bro he's brute forcing it with all of his freaking meaty beefy tacos wow okay wow this guy's impressive he didn't beat round 98 yet but let's just go on it round 100 versus the taco tower what is this guy gonna do how's he gonna do it okay wow just shred it into someone say shred into beef like ground beef well i want to see how far he goes so let's try round 140 out and see if he can take down a fortified b80 he's got no range but oh my goodness has he got damage wow bye bye all right how about round 180 we're going up by a lot of rounds now but i think yeah he's still handling it and if things get tough we do have the ability but i do want to see like exactly how far you know like I, if he reaches round 223 i want to be there to see that but it doesn't look like round 180 is going to be stopping him anytime soon because uh he is destroying everything bro he went from like 40,000 pops to 3 million real quick and he's about to be at 4 million look at that all right let's try round 200 it is a bit of a stretch because it's a round 200 100 fortified bad right this isn't a soft cookie oh never mind never mind it's a very soft cookie okay what about round 240 right round 240 should be difficult oh okay no it's not oh okay round 300 you gonna take down round 300 bro fortified bad on round 300 is not at all a joke and it's gone it doesn't exist anymore dude round 400 does this guy just do infinite damage or something look can i play can i press okay round 400 fortified bad gone what what is happening okay there's no way this guy does actual infinite damage right let's try round 777 something insane we got fortified bfbs coming out a bad he just slaughtered it okay okay so i'm starting to sense a pattern here ladies and gentlemen i I think this guy's a little too op round a thousand bro round a thousand are you gonna lose to round a thousand no why 2000 round 2000 round two freaking thousand oh my goodness he's destroying the b80s on round 2000 what am i even supposed to do what am i what am i what look at that look at that the, the freaking ceramics are going across half the track in the blink of an eye does this guy just for real go forever what if i put the round at like 10,000 or something something absolutely ridiculous he should lose here yes thank you because i don't know the ddts were too fast or oh the moabs of course it took all until round 10,000 to beat that guy bro that is stupid but before before we check out or we check out the fifth tier the gunpowder tax up to bluntonium lasers make sure you guys are subscribed i'm gonna go ahead and put down a couple farms because i think it's kind of silly to be using a bunch of insta monkeys every time i know i have like 400 of them but still all right let's put this bad boy down what do we have here gunpowder tax tax can now pop frozen and lead and explode in a very small radius increasing pierce Ex they explode but is it like a bomb or something oh snap that's like an actual cluster bomb okay maybe i should should set my cash back to like normal so that it makes sense for me to have all these farms all right this is pretty freaking cool over here okay so what do we have next we have packed tax tax are packed with gunpowder to blast through a lot more balloons at once what does that mean though because they're already kind of like packed with gunpowder that's why they're exploding does it do something else that's also awesome okay that looks like the same exact thing did it just up the pierce or something you know i'm starting to notice a pattern with this range rate pierce and damage i don't think it's updating at all for the fifth tier or or for the fourth tier maybe the extra tiers it just doesn't do it for it. why what is curved tax i don't even know but i mean that one didn't seem to be too 
impressive. It's, I mean, it's cool that it's shooting out bombs out of the tax, but like, I want something a little bit more. So what do we have here? Dynamite sticks. Tax are replaced. Oops. Tax are replaced with dynamite sticks to increase explosion radius by a lot. Plus three base damage. Okay. I like where we're going with, with this thing. Let's go ahead and get dynamite sticks over. Oh my goodness. That is way bigger. Dude, they're actually, it's actually shooting out dynamite too. If you look closely enough, like that's a stick of TNT right there. That's pretty freaking cool. That looks like a, a, a mortar, like a mortar bomb. That's what it seems to be. All right. Okay. I'm liking this guy. I'm liking him. All right, let's go ahead and put down a camo village, though, just to be safe. We'll go ahead and get radar scanner. And we'll go for MIB wine. Oh, he does not like MIB, huh? Crash in the game. So I had to reset the game. Let's go ahead and get dynamite back. There we go. Dynamite sticks. Let's try this again. Can I not put an MIB on him? Is there something wrong with the MIB? All right, we got to try this one more time, right? We already got the MIB down. Let's try to get uh, dynamite sticks. There we go. I don't know why that was such a problem. All right, well, now we should be good to just let this guy run for a little bit, right? I think he can make it to round 30 all by himself. He's a big boy. Yep, he made it there. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's see what else we have. We've got laser bombs, tactical laser bombs, because why not? They deal more damage with insane pierce and a larger explosion radius. A larger one, bro? Larger than this? I mean, we'll try it. Oh, okay. MIB is just stupid or something, bro. I don't understand it. All right, let's just freaking get this thing. Gunpowder tax, pack tax, dynamite sticks, and laser bombs. Let's go ahead and just see what he does. It's round six again, whatever. Wow. This guy's freaking good. Okay, we're gonna get back to where we were in no time. Whatever, I have $10 million. I'm tired of putting down farms. It doesn't make sense. I have unlimited money, come on. And this guy in fast forward looks absolutely stupid. All right, we're gonna let him go until round 39 if he makes makes it that far i don't know but if he does we'll let him go until round 39 i want to save you know the tier 5 for the moab because of course it's the most dangerous part of this game is the moab all right this is about to be the end let's just go ahead and freaking get it bluntonium lasers laser beams are infused with inf infused infused with bluntonium and then the devil's number the deadly isotope to eradicate all the balloons let's go ahead and freaking get this guy that's a dead moab wow all right, maybe this guy's gonna be just as good as the freaking taco tax shooter. Let's go ahead. Round 60, of course. We gotta see how it fares against the BFB because you never know. It's a $300,000 tower or whatever, but it could fall to a BFB. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. And bye-bye, BFB. Okay. How about round 80? What are we looking at for round 80? We got the ZOMG coming out. Holy smokes. It's gone. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. I'm kind of scared to put it on round 90 because I don't know how it does against like the, the DDTs and the LEDs and stuff because it looks like it's having a tough time with leads but nope nope the ddts are nothing okay we'll go straight to round 100 then see how we fare against the round 100 what round 100 really round 100 bad and uh it's pretty good this is not terrible I, i'm kind of liking that we got a 210 wizard monkey i don't know why i'd ever want that in my life let's go into free play we're gonna keep testing this bad boy round 140 the first fortified bfb you already know let's freaking do it and it's okay wow i kind of want to skip to round 10,000 just to see if it's the same as the other one but we'll just go for 200 right we'll skip uh round 180 we'll just go straight to 200 okay okay I'm, I'm starting to sense a pattern i think this guy really really liked the tier fives and uh you know made them infinitely overpowered because yeah this is round 300 that's a fortified bad on round 300 i barely got to see it crack before it didn't exist anymore round 400 what are we looking at oh we died to a ceramic didn't we because <laughs> it was too fast all right well you know we'll try one more time just to see if it can actually be like infinite rounds uh minus you know the stupid balloon so we'll go ahead and in the back we'll get up a uh, not this guy we'll get up a legend of the night and then over here we should be good to just go straight for a freaking bluntonium lasers and now let's put it on like round 10,000 let's see or no round 10,000 he failed what, what did I put him on round 2,000 round 2,000 he was still breaking blooms okay he's cracking through fortified ZOMGs on round 2,000 it's not infinite damage but he did a billion he's doing billions of damage already this is a $300,000 tower costs as much as the legend of the night all right well uh, just in case you guys wanted to see how strong that guy is he's a little too strong for his own good let's go ahead and give myself infinite money we're moving on to the sixth tier if i can find the tax shooter let's put this bad boy down what do we have we got tacos already we got gunpowder tax now we have tac tactics 
copies the 0-3 ninja damage buff and applies it to all tax shooters in range of the tower. Hold up. Tax support grants range of the tower. Doesn't stack all tax shooters in radius, including this one. Ooh, okay. So this guy's a buffing guy. But look, this tier 5 says all tax shooters go burr except for this one, which still does one damage, lol. So let's try it out and see if it gets any stronger. I mean, it buffs itself, but does it really? Like, is it that good? At least on its own. We're obviously going to try it with all nine of them, and then we're going to try the five, 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 five. But right now, you know, by himself, I don't think he's going to be fantastic. This is the tech network system. I'm not even going to read what these do yet because it doesn't seem to be coming in handy like that. We got super tax over here, which is making me lag my game up. Wow, that's a big raid. But yeah, he's still only doing one damage, and I assume if I get the Omega buff, let's just go ahead and get him right away. Hopefully, it doesn't make my PC explode. Okay, yeah, he's got infinite range over here, so we're getting a little bit of a sneak peek into how big the range of this guy is. But it doesn't look like he's shooting any faster. Doesn't look like he's, you know, it's just the range. It's not Pierce or anything. It might be Pierce, actually. I'm not sure. Uh, let's take a look. You know, I don't know why I thought this would change. It's the same for every tower. The range is obviously not 23. The entire screen is going gray whenever I click on him. But uh, I guess we're going to see how far he can go. I doubt he can go that far, but I should probably hook him up with an MIB if that's even possible. Okay, a single village lagged my game. What about radar scanner? Ooh, that might... Oh, okay. MIB? MIB? Okay, we got an MIB on him. Let's just go ahead and see how far he goes. I don't know. It's impoppable, so he could die this round. Hey, look at that. He died this round. Okay. Well, that guy's gonna be fun to play with with the rest of the attack shooters. Now, let's go ahead and put down an actual attack shooter that hopefully should go far. Just give myself unlimited money, basically. Let's go past. We did talk we did gunpowder attacks. We did tac tactics. Mini gun station. What do we even have here? Equips eight powerful mini guns to blast the balloons. Okay. Oh, this guy actually looks kind of sick, though. I think I just jumbled that entire sentence, but he looks pretty freaking cool. Whoa. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no. How much is that again? 900. Oh, 750 bucks? No, that was 900. Okay, let me not cross path them because that's going to be evil. 335 plus 900, so that's $1,235, and this guy's going to be breaking through like everything. This is essentially like a hypersonic grape shot uh, uh, with eight of them, with eight of them constantly shooting out forever. I think this guy makes it until round... I, I mean, I have, to, I have to put an MIB on him, so let's try that, but I think he'll make it to round 40 probably on his own. I won't even have to get cannon station or anything else. This guy's actually so strong and i want to test that i want to see can he actually make it to round 40 maybe he beats round 40 but he's freaking getting there bro round 33 and up oh okay round 38 looks like it's gonna be it oh no i'm not fast enough for that whatever let's just go ahead and restart it all right let's go ahead we're gonna see about what this cannon station does uh, uh, that's what this one does doesn't it equips eight powerful cannons that explode on impact slower attack speed though okay so now we're mixing up the gunpowder attacks with the mini gun and now we got oh that looks sick dude that looks freaking awesome look at this guy shoot bro whoa okay and there's topple tactics i think that's 2d's game i say this guy's beating the moab bro but i don't know i, I think i shouldn't let him right I, I think i should obviously check out what is topple tactics even tactic okay come on please mouse tactical toppling makes this tax shooter a specialist in pushing back balloons that makes a lot of sense actually because i think a lot of topple tactics is like knockback you know pushing things around so let's go ahead and get that there's only two thousand dollars let's freaking do it that looks awesome too what the heck dude they got creative on this guy bro link in the description or not link but uh, i have the credit in the description for this map if you don't know how to install a mod you know uh i just called it a map it's a mod oh my goodness if you don't know how to install a mod look it up maybe i can do a tutorial comment down below if you want me to but this dude is freaking amazing actually i don't even think this mod is out yet but uh still you know i have credit for it in there it's like a little red jellyfish or something this guy looks sick bro he looks so cool okay 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 what's next we got turbo fan uses a fan instead of weapons to push the balloons back to incredible measures but doesn't affect them at all moab okay so this is just going to be just for balloons let's just get it and see what happens Ooh, we're doing a little bit of crashing here uh oh yeah you mix him in with an mib he doesn't like that all right we gotta restart once again let's just go ahead and get up our cash and uh what are we even going for i forgot turbo fan that's right let's see if this even works on its own though let's go minigun station cannon station topple tactics and turbo fan this guy looks looks amazing. This guy actually looks really sick, bro. How? I don't even know. Maybe I can put an MIB after, but for that, like, I don't even... Uh, I'll just put camo detection on. And now it's gonna crash. Are you kidding me, bro? I 
it just undid it and then did it again. Why does that have to be a problem? All right, let's just freaking get this guy. Oh, I'm so tired of waiting. Okay, minigun station, cannon station, topple tactics, and turbo fan. Let's let this guy go. And uh, what does he do? He doesn't look like he's pushing back anything, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's because they're too small of balloons. I gotta wait until like the round 30s and stuff. I'm gonna stop trying to add villages and stuff. If he doesn't see camo, uh, you know what? I, I might as well just get up like a sorcerer over here. Or not a sorcerer. What are they called? Shimmers. Yeah, I wanna get up a shimmer just over here, but maybe not over there. Maybe like right over here. Where somewhere where it's not immediately popping things. Yeah, we'll just get a shimmer right there. That should be good. And if not, uh, we'll get another three. Yeah, what about that? That should be good if anything's too camo for this guy. But uh, round 20. Oh, I see him pushing things back now because he can't pop the black balloons. I wonder if this will just go on forever. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Look at this timer over here, bro. It's going up like crazy. Let's put the speed at 100. Look at that. A sec. Every second, it's a minute. Never thought I'd say that in my life. Okay, let's get something to pop these guys. Let's just get down a freaking another tax shooter because why not? That'll be applicable. Okay, this guy's too far gone, really. We'll go ahead and put him right there. There we go. Okay, we beat the round with the black balloon in it i think just in case i'll put down a uh i don't know i'll, I'll put down yeah, i'll put down a, a, a lettuce i'll put down a lettuce shooter over here just in case there are some black balloons over here okay well there goes that how about a dartling gunner we'll just put down a dartling gunner we'll put down a freaking ray of doom over here just uh just in case we need to you know just in case we need to pop some extra things like uh like this camo balloon which for some reason a deadly layer or a deadly laser still cannot pop without the help of a shimmer okay i'm gonna have to start using this thing off Often, huh? Oh my goodness, it's every round I gotta do it, bro. I wish I could just put up an MIB, but I can't because this guy sucks. Actually, I think if I go for like an Ice Monkey, like an Absolute Zero over here, yeah, now I can just use the ability whenever I need to. That's genius. Okay, now I just have to press a button. That's not so bad. I gotta press a button like a button presser. Okay, well, this is not good. This is not good at all. Regrow Zebras are probably my enemy, but I should be able to handle it, right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm oh, okay. I'm not good. Uh Oh, there we go. Okay, round 40. There goes the Moab, but I kind of want to redo the Moab with the Mega Player. Tax Shooter can now place epic towers to make the balloons topple back to the start. Its own cooldown, its own cooldown is reduced. Okay, well, let's delete these guys because I'm thinking that this guy might actually be able to defeat Black Balloons. Look at that. We got an epic Tax Shooter with a smiley face over here, and now he can defeat Black Balloons, but, uh, you know, he can't really. It's the Tax Shooters. And look at this guy's little angry face. Oh, who is that? This guy looks sick, bro. This is a freaking amazing tower. Make sure you guys hit the like button. We still got how many of these left? We got two more left to go, and then we're going to test them all out together. And we died to round 42 camos. Well, uh, in case you guys wanted to know how far that thing goes, let's go ahead and restart over here. Let's go ahead. What do we have here? We've got Icy Dart now. Okay, well, that's a weird mention of me just putting down the Ice Monkey. But let's go ahead. Nine, 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 money. That's basically how many freaking tiers we're going through actually that's seven and we're going through six of them but let's go icy dart dart art frozen in cold water pressing them in seconds break apart on hit you gotta you, you, just let me know if you need me to help you out with the descriptions man i love you this is a little silly though all right icy dart uh okay what in seconds break apart oh they recursive cluster except awesomer because now it's just it's just like a tax shooter recursive cluster as opposed to a taco recursive cluster or a gunpowder curse recursive cluster or a minigun recursive a lot of this relies on recursive cluster doesn't it which i'm not complaining about whatsoever but it's interesting all right let's get you know what i can do i can get up a camo trap what am i doing okay okay what else do we have after icy dart permafrost shards let me not move my mouse permafrost shards extremely dirty Durable permafrost shards have more pierce and break apart into harder pierces, pierces, pieces that also have more pierce. Okay, let's freaking do it. Let's see what we got here. And uh, it looks like the same thing and we died to leads. Okay, maybe I should restart that except for I have lead protection. We'll put down another camo trap, but I think my lead detection is going to be like this guy in the back. He'll have corrosive glue and uh, glue storm. Why not? Just so that he gets all the leads and I guess all the everything else that leaks by, huh? So now we should be fine on round 30. Yeah, because we got this guy over. He's only done 240 pops. This guy's done 4,000. What else do we have? The Ice Factory. What even is that? 
Permafrost is replaced with extremely cold ice that freezes the balloons on contact attack faster. Also, before I even upgrade that, can we just like appreciate these upgrade icons, bro? Because this guy really went all out with some of these like super attacks. What even is that? Topple tactics looks dope. These uh these sticks of TNT looks amazing. This these these are awesome, bro. The pentuple spin. I don't even know what that is yet. But let's go ahead. Permafrost is, is replaced with extremely cold ice that freezes the balloons. Okay, let's just do it and see what happens. I actually can not tell i don't see any freezing happening but he is doing damage which i'm always appreciative of yeah it doesn't look like he's freezing anything though so let's try out for dry ice factory what do we even have solid water is replaced with solid co2 that freezes the balloons with for a lot longer with increased pierce okay now it's freezing them now I, I saw it freeze for a little bit i don't really know what happened but i mean this guy just took down a ceramic so you know i'm happy about that did i just skip round 40 okay we gotta see the round 40 moab we did beat it okay i just skipped it again come on I know we beat it, but I want to see us beat it in like real time. That, okay, okay. That's like a bit of damage. We froze the ceramics, you know, to help us out a little bit. But uh, I think we should just go liquid nitrogen bluntonium. Even colder than dry ice, liquid nitrogen and ice, liquid nitro bluntonium. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just read that wrong. Even colder than dry ice, liquid nitrogen and ice, liquid nitro bluntonium. Really? Can freeze and slow balloons for extremely long long with an insane attack speed affecting all the way up to zomgs let's freaking do it bro that looks sick look at that attack speed bro that is like a helicopter not a helicopter a hexagon why am i a helicopter that's like a hexagon and then trying like you can see a pattern there if you look closely enough i don't know if you guys want to pause and see but it looks really freaking dope it's like a snowflake let's just let this guy run or you know what no no no, no. what am i doing we're putting him on round 60 bro we got to see how he goes against the round 60 bfb it's already gone it's, i don't know why i'm talking about it it's already gone all right, round seven. Why round 70? There's no Moabs on round seven. Well, there might be. I don't know. Round 80. We got the round 80 ZOMG over here. Can we defeat this guy? Come on, get in the radius. Okay, bye-bye ZOMG layer and bye-bye the rest. Wow. I'm really scared of putting down like a, a radar scanner I'm fine with, right? But an MIB. Let's just get it and pray. Get it and pray. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, okay, okay. So now I can see how we do against round 90, which is a bunch of uh, DDT. Well, we already beat it. Okay, so I guess we do completely fine against everything. But what about round 100? How do we do against round 100? You never know, you know, because it's a purple balloon. It's a BAD. It's a freaking everything all in one. Let's see how we do against... Oh... Wow, okay. And we got a 000, zero, zero wizard. That's yippee. Even worse than the 210 we got earlier. All right, this guy is a beast, bro. Round 140, fortified BAD, scary. Not even in a little bit. Whoa, dude, what the heck? This is like a 000, zero, zero dart monkey. That's how strong he is with one dart. Look at this guy. Round 200, like it's nothing. We got an alchemist over here. Maybe I should uh, I should get some protection for solid balloons, though, like the normal little baby balloons. Yeah, let's just get up something for those guys. I guess I'll get up like a ray of doom right uh i get one up right here and then just lock it down this path and that should be enough to stop everything right if not i kind of wish i had the ray of frozen doom or whatever it's called the ray of ice because that was sick but let's go for an absolute zero as well i are you why dude i didn't even get to test to see if he could do infinite damage but whatever it looks like this guy dies on round 206 anyways now we've got uh we've got one left and that is the tax central if you guys haven't hit the like button already i don't know what it's gonna take but hopefully it's this let's freaking get this guy up give myself what blah, 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 amounts of money curved tax let's see what this guy does tax become curved and have an alternate trajectory that makes the spin around the shooter one time and come back so this guy's gonna do a full 360 circle around him and then go back into the hole in which it came in let's freaking see how this goes so we got some green balloons coming in wow what the heck yo look at this dude what the heck is wrong with him these tax are freaking massive okay what would the proportion even be like this maybe maybe like 16 percent it made it six times bigger than it needed to be maybe even more hold up let me go into accessibility again maybe like maybe like three times bigger yeah that looks that looks normal-ish right that looks like around right this is a weird one ladies and gentlemen let's put it back to 100 though i want to see it at 100 dude 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 it's so freaking big for no reason those things are not coming out of those tiny little freaking tack holes. But what else have we got? Fast forward shooting. Tack shooter has increased attack speed, projectile speed, pierce, and range. This upgrade is an all-encompassing upgrade. Okay. And some fancy wordage in here. I like that. Let's get the all-encompassing. Oh my goodness. 
Holy crap, they got bigger, and there's more range there going further. All right, what else do we have? Tack Orbit! Two powerful tacks spin around the tack shooter for great pierce and attack speed. Orbit model actually work. It just doesn't show for some reason. Okay, so I guess I'm not going to be able to see it. I mean, let's try it out. Tack Orbit? Yeah, we're not see- Oh, we are not seeing anything. Okay. This is interesting. Okay, so occasionally, I guess when the balloons actually get in the range, he shoots. But this is just like the uh, the Glaive Lord for the boomerang, except it's only two, I guess. But here we've got Pentuple Spin, which I was talking about at the earlier part of this video. Five faster and more powerful tacks spin around the sack shooter. Does it show it? Ah, oh, it doesn't show it, bro. That would have been sick. All right, well, let's try out Tax Central. The $800,000 upgrade. Is that the most expensive one? Okay, that's a boomerang. Is that the most expensive fifth tier? Holy crap, he is. The, the other one is Omega Buff, which uh, we're not really going to take a look at just yet. In a little bit, we are, though, so make sure you guys are sticking around. Tax Central, 15 insanely powerful tax spin around this tax shooter. Let's just do... Oh, my goodness. We can see it, too. Wow. Actually, I don't think we can, but this guy looks insane. I mean, we got to try it out against the Moab, right? right? It should be able... It's, it's a million dollars. I think it can handle a Moab. Okay, it did it faster than I wanted it to. It did it way faster than I wanted it to. Let's just go round 60 EFB. What do we do to this guy? We absolutely dismantle him. Wow, dude, we're not even leaving children balloons for the ceramics. We're like, insta-popping everything over here. Let's see, do we have... Okay, no, we don't have anything special. You know what? Screw this EOMG. Round 100 BAD. It's gone. It's, it's gone. Reduced into atoms and dust and uh, probably not even atoms, bro. It's empty space. I have a feeling it can beat round 300. Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. Dude, it did it faster than I could even, like, type it. It took me longer to type round 300 than, it for, for, than for it to beat round 300. Let's do round 777 because we love God over here. And oh my goodness, he is destroying round 777. Round 1,000. Bro, oh, that's 10,000. We got to try out 1,000 first. Round 1,000, it's the same round, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same freaking thing. Okay. Also, this guy's buried. This guy is buried in his own mega tax. All right, round, uh, round 3,000. I want that. Round 3,000. Ooh, he does not beat round 3,000, bro. Come on. I expected so much better for you. But now that we've gone over all six of these new paths, ladies and gentlemen, we got to try out all nine of them at once. So let me go ahead, give myself infinite money. While I'm building these, it's probably a great time to plug my freaking, uh, my membership. If you guys want to join this channel and, you know, become a member, it would be greatly appreciated. It gives me a little bit of extra income to help make these videos. And it also gives you some pretty cool access to things. Okay, that is playing the Raining Taco song again. So yeah, if you're interested in getting these videos a day early, you know, getting to speak to me privately, uh, there's a whole bunch of things you can go through the list. But just let me know and, you know, join, I guess. And if there's anything you guys recommend me put on there, you know, again, let me know. I'll see what I can do, see what's available, see what's not available, see what's possible. Uh, we're getting down to the last two over here, and uh, it looks like I'm skipping one because this is the last one, and we only have eight on the screen. But what I'm going to do is right over here in the center, this is going to be our guy. This is going to be our tack tactic, the guy that we skip. Copy the 0-3 ninja buff, uh, damage buff, and apply it to all tack shooters in range of the tower. Okay, well, that doesn't really help. Oh, it actually does. What the heck? Okay. Tack support grants tack shooters in range of the tower tower more range doesn't stack let's see if it actually does it let's see uh more range oh i don't know if it did actually but that's fine because this guy's range is going to be increasing anyway tack network system okay let's do that you know we'll let the rounds play while i do because uh, that'll be everything all tack shooters in radius including this tack shooter use high quality tacks that deal three more damage than normal ones and have plus four pierce and this tack shooter pumps them to other tack shooters to use. Let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, that didn't really affect anything, did it? I don't know why I expected it to. Now we have super tacks. This tack shooter and all nearby tack shooters in the networking system receive a greatly damaged pierce rate support and a bigger range rate support, making them a lot stronger. Let's just go ahead and do it. This might break my game on its own. Uh oh. Hopefully not. Oh no. No, I have to read this. All right, I'm gonna have to replace these guys. I'm gonna have to put down the big boy first because I, I don't, things kind of don't work. Well, here we go. We've got the Omega Buff all tag shooters go And uh, yeah, these all have unlimited range over here. So let's go ahead and upgrade them all again, one by one. I'm gonna pray that nothing crashes. Hopefully nothing should crash, right? We should be okay. We should have been done with the crashing stuff by now. We got one more left tag central perfect. Now we just gotta press the play. Let's freaking do- Oh my goodness! Oh no. Oh no. Oh, come on! 
Well, uh, I guess we'll never know. But if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you hit that like button and comment down below. What else do you want to see me do with these nine path attack shooters? I don't know if there's anything else I can do with them. Uh, watch this video over here. Make sure you join as a member, bro. That'd be pretty freaking cool if you did.